recipe a couple of years ago and it showed this most fantastic sandwich. It was this huge rib and it was inside a sandwich and they poked the ribs out. I had to come to the internet and figure it out. First and foremost, we're gonna need some good stuff. We're going to put two tablespoons of paprika in a bowl. Two tablespoons of pepper, like holy smokes. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. Brown sugar is great on ribs, you know, so. Boy, that's hard shit, eh? Salt, onion powder. That's gonna be great. Now I'm gonna put in a teaspoon of garlic. Oh man. <laughs> Didn't sneeze at all on that guy. Okay, let's put in a teaspoon of cumin. Let's mix all these wonderful little guys up like this. We are putting this rub right on like that. As I turn it over, there's the rib, see? You know what, I should take that membrane off. You probably don't have to do that, guys. I did it because I have a funny feeling that membrane might have been a challenge. I think that's good enough. What do you guys think? All right, I'll give you a little more. It drives me crazy. People giving me instructions on how to put on tin foil. I'm gonna put that in a 325 oven. It says for three hours. Don't know if I have the patience for that, to be honest with you. Okay, I don't think I mentioned it or not, but with those ribs, I'm gonna make some soup. Okay, I gotta peel an onion and a Granny Smith apple. And watch me not cry. Oh, and I just remember the name of the soup is called Butternut Squash Soup. Oh, so that lovely Granny Smith apple, I already got it peeled. This is a recipe that I invented myself. And if you don't like it, I'll peel you too. And I'm just somebody's mom. I'm not in a professional. Ah, that's good enough, you know. You're gonna mush it all down eventually with some kind of a, a machine. I got a fancy little countertop oven. How do I plug it in? I'm gonna put some butter in this cause I'm making soup. I don't know how much it is. I have no idea. Not that much. Oh, it's melting. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that sizzling away, but it's sizzling away. Oh, God damn it. Okay, so I just cut these guys in half. Beautiful, right? Again, no oil. I just put a little bit of butter, salt and pepper. I'm making soup, I'm not making hummus. I'm gonna put some kosher salt in. How much salt is that? Probably enough. Crushed black pepper, stir that around. Oh, golly, it smells really, really good. In the pot. Oh, golly. See what I got going on in here? I got my apples, I got my onions, and I've got my squash in there. I cook the squash for about 45 minutes at about 325 degrees. I'm gonna put in about two cups of my homemade broth. Of course you can use store-bought broth. What the hell? I am going to put some, a lot of people put heavy cream in, but you know what? I'm gonna to try to go with wonderful flavors rather than heavy calories. Um, boop, 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 boop. I'm just pouring it in there just to show you how much I'm putting in. I think that says about two cups. I don't know how much it says. This is probably a lot of cinnamon. You like those shows on TV where the guy tastes? He tastes right over the food. Like, give me a break. Okay, I think I'm ready at the point now where we're gonna puree it. I scared my kids when they were little with all these kinds of kitchen gadgets. Okay, let's just taste this. Could be a little too sweet. Let's add in some more of this chicken broth. I guess I'll put it on my counter, it's my counter. So that's all done. Okay, I've had this little creature in the oven now for about three and a half hours at 300 degrees. Holy smoke. I don't know if you can see what I can see, folks, but those ribs are just sitting there. I don't want to take a lot of the meat out, as you can imagine. Even though the recipe, what I vaguely remembered, said three and a half hours at 300 degrees. I'm starting to think that maybe it was a bit too long. These ribs aren't popping out and you want them to pop out. This is a homemade barbecue sauce I have, you know, ketchup, honey, all that goodness. I just thought what I'd do is just put a little bit of this on it, pop it in the old broiler for let's say five minutes. Okay, I've got a lovely fresh French loaf here. And by the time we finish with those ribs, they weren't very big. That's a lot of bread. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna cut it off like that. Still seems like a lot of bread to me. Let's cut the ends off. What the heck? We're just having a little fun here, okay? Look at that, folks. If I was doing it again, I definitely would not use a French loaf. Just too much bread. Now, here's what we're gonna do. 
Oh my. Look at that. Gorgeous. I'm gonna pat that down. Let's just cut one right down the middle. That, my friend, is what they called a giant rib sandwich. Put some onions on it, put whatever you want on it, and enjoy. This, plus the butternut squash soup, I think is gonna make a really nice treat. Bye for now.